I'm Chief Meteorologist Amber Sellins beating the heat today in Scottsdale. We are live at the Scottsdale Museum of Contemporary Art. It is a wonderful place to be to beat the sizzling 110 degree heat and to get away from the air quality, which has been a problem for us the last couple of days. In fact, yesterday in ozone high pollution advisory, today in ozone high pollution advisory, and now we're going to see that issued for tomorrow as well. So as we look at your air quality forecast, air is looking unhealthy for sensitive groups. That's those of you with asthma or COPD. You're going to want to limit your time outside throughout the day tomorrow once again with that air quality alert in effect. We're at 108 degrees now, humidity at 5%, so yes, it is a dry heat and a little breezy this afternoon as winds come in 13 miles per hour. Look how hot it is across our state. We have 97 in Sedona, 90 in Heber, Flagstaff's in the mid 80s, and Kingman is at 100 degrees. Tonight we're dropping lows out to the west into the 70s. We'll see 70s down to our south in Casa Grande and Tucson as well, and 70 right on the dot in Sedona and Globe. Phoenix only 82 degrees overnight tonight, so those overnight lows are getting warmer along with our daytime highs, and tomorrow we look to top out at 110 here in Phoenix and see those triple digits up in Winslow, Kingman, and Sedona as well. The hottest spot on the map, Bullhead City, 113 degrees out there tomorrow. Phoenix, we're not going to get that hot, but it is going to be scorching. And as we look at your Valley Planner, we'll start those triple digits around 11 o'clock in the morning tomorrow and keep them going until after sunset tomorrow night. Look for highs at 110 in Ahwatukee and Tempe tomorrow, 109 in Mesa, Scottsdale at 108, and 108 up in Deer Valley as well with Litchfield Park, Peoria, and Glendale all at 109 degrees. And as we look at your seven-day forecast here, the temperatures are going to be staying pretty hot, although they'll drop a few degrees heading into the weekend. We are going to see temperatures stay right near or slightly above normal for the next seven days. So we pick up some breezes Thursday and Friday. We drop things down to about 105 by Saturday, and then the heat will be on once again as we head into next week. Back out here live, joining me now is Julie Gannis with the museum. Wonderful things going on here, especially this exhibit that we're in now. Tell us a little bit about it. Um, so like you mentioned earlier, this is Lydia Okamura's Situations. Um, um, she's a Brazilian-based artist. Um, she actually lives in New York now. She's really dealing with the 2D and 3D planes. So she likes to kind of trick your eye and make you think something's 2D, but then when you look at it, it's actually 3D. Yeah, it's very, very cool. And, you know, we were talking about this earlier. It's not just the awesome exhibits going on here at the museum, but you guys have a lot of great events as well for the whole family. Yeah, um, we like to um, kind of tell people that Friday and Saturday night, we have um, free hours from 5 to 9 p.m. Um, and we like to say, come for a nice date night. Um, we have a really cool event on um, July 26th. It's called Flavor Lab. So we're working with um, two local um, food places. One of them is um, Arizona Distilling Company. So they're going to actually do a tasting of their locally made um, wheat whiskey. And then it's going to be paired with some really cool sweet treats from um, Super Chunk. So awesome. come out. So we can learn more about that on your website, right? What's that website address? Smoka.org. Okay, awesome. And again, Friday and Saturday night, starting at 5 p.m., you can get in for free for date night, as Julie mentioned. But they're also uh, doing free admission on Thursdays. So you can come down and see all the awesome exhibits here, including the Infinity Room, which we're going to give you a little teaser of coming up a little later on in this newscast. Then we're taking you in live tonight on ABC 15 News at 6. Ooh. Pretty Don't cool. Lost. Yeah. I think that the wheat whiskey would make that uh, 2D look 3D pretty quick. <laughs> yeah, hey, and kudos, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, kudos to your photog too to show us the yeah. glass on that exhibit behind you. It was that cool was stuff. cool. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Awesome. Amber. Yeah, we'll Alex is out here with me. Yeah. All right. All right. Thanks. Alex, way to go. We'll see you guys in just a little bit. Thanks, Amber.